हे व्हाट्सअप आई होप यूर डूइंग ग्रेट दिस इज यार पढ़ा दे एंड आई एम अमित टूडे विल लर्न अबाउट इंसर्शन इन अ सिंगल लिंक लिस्ट देर आर फोर पॉसिबल केसेस टू इंसर्ट इन अ सिंगल लिंक लिस्ट इट्स एट द बिगिनिंग इन एन एम टी लिस्ट एट द एंड एंड इन बिटवीन द लिस्ट नोट्स विल कवर द फर्स्ट थ्री इन दिस वीडियो एंड द फोर्थ वन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बिकॉज इंसर्शन इन बिटवीन लिस्ट नोट अगेन हैज थ्री पॉसिबल केसेस to insert the node so we'll go in details in the next video about the fourth point let's start with inserting a node at the beginning of the list let's compare before and after insertion in the link list so before insertion node p is the first node and start points to node p right and after the insertion node a is the first node and node p is the second node start points to node a and node a points to node p the link part of node a points to node p so just by the diagram i can understand the commands that i have to write i have to make node link part of node a point to node p and i have to make start point to node a right let's see how to code it we first assign the address of node p to node a the link part of node a obviously so the address of node p was in start so i can write a arrow link equal to start so this will this will make node a the link part of node a point to node p now i have to make start point to node a so that i can simply write start equals to a the order of these statements is is very very important i will show you what i am talking about this is the order right if i if i uh, write start equal to a first what will happen this is node a this is start and if i write start equals to a start will point to node a what was start pointing to previously node p now no the, now that is lost right if i write this next statement a arrow link equal to start what will happen the link part of node a will point to itself because start is pointing to node a so th- this will so reversing the statements the order of the statements will create an infinite loop in your linked list so just keep in mind uh, like if you have to remember it always write or whenever you are making start point to a new node that statement has to be written last okay i hope you get it next let's write the function to add a node at the beginning so this is the function uh, the return type of the function is a structure pointer because we will be returning start at the end of the function the parameters are one the structure pointer start and the data that we have to insert we start by initializing our uh, pointer a and we allocate memory by writing the malloc statement i'll put a link in the description about malloc if you want to read it we assign the info part of node a with the data that we got from the parameter and the link part we assign start that means the address of node p and then we make start point to node a and then we return start this was easy right now let's see insert inserting a node in an empty list uh, believe me it's the same as the earlier case so before insertion start is null and after insertion node a is the first node start is pointing to node a and link of a is null so how do we write it in code we have to first make the link part of node a null since start was already null we can write a arrow link equal to start so this is the node a. then we make start point to node a we write start equals to a so that's it right uh, the function i showed you earlier you can use that function in this case also to insert in an empty list let's see the third point inserting at the end now before insertion node p is the last node right link of node p is null after insertion node a is the last node link of node a is null and link of node p is pointing to node a right by by just looking at the diagram i can understand that i have to reach node p first and then insert node a right so let's see the code first we have to traverse till the end of the list we we take a 
pointer p we assign it with the value of start and then we traverse till the end of the linked list if you, if you want to know about traversing i have made a video about traversing i link it in the description okay so the pointer p you know we start from the beginning and we reach the end then we have to insert node a at the end the link part of node p we have to assign the address of node a this is how we do it p arrow link equal to a and then we assign the link part of node a as null a arrow link equal to null let's see let's see the function again the return type is a structure pointer because we will be returning start the parameters of the function is a structure pointer start and the data that we have to insert we initialize our pointer p and a p for traversing and a is the node that we want to insert so we allocate memory with this malloc statement we assign the data in the info part of node a then we start traversing we assign p is the value of start and then we traverse with this while loop until we reach the end of the linked list we'll assign the link part of p with the address of a and then we assign the link part of a with null and then we return start right i hope you understood this uh, in the next video we'll we'll uh, we'll see how to insert a node in between list nodes for this video if you have any doubts let me know in the comments and do give it a thumbs up because it helps the video to reach new people and subscribe if you want to watch new videos so until the next video peace